So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. Hey everyone, Rezboski here. What's going on guys? Dorko here. And welcome back once again to another episode of Theory Thursday. And in this one, we are of course going to be analysing the most recent set of teasers on ScottGames.com. And that is of course the Five Nights at Freddy's World teaser images because it's gone crazy to say the least in the past week. And I think we've all struggled to keep up really, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's been absolutely mad. And uh, on that note, guys, because everything has pretty much changed, so we think... I think we're going to be talking about pretty much the character designs, who we think is going to be in the game, and also the gameplay itself. So we'll start with the character designs as a whole. So what do you guys actually think of these characters' appearance? Um, obviously Scott's gone for a different kind of style altogether. Obviously he said that it's not going to be a horror game, it's going to be a kid-friendly RPG kind of game. Well, he didn't say kid-friendly, but it just by looking at these guys, you know that they're cute and cuddly and, you know, they look like they wouldn't hurt anybody, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. It's just a... Uh, what's actually interesting now is uh who the enemies will be because these guys mm. were the enemies in the previous game and now they're the friendly guys so it just makes you think how horrifying these enemies are actually gonna have to be mm. yeah no like just just having a quick scan around them they've all become pretty damn cute obviously you've got the nightmare animatronics which to stick with their artistic style um being nightmares they still have to have that scary appeal about them which they mm. do but they're still kind of cute at the same time yeah. i mean you look at toy chica or, or or foxy and and you're just like these guys are cute and then you look at poor poor nightmare chica and you're like yeah <laughs> poor yeah. girl like i mean you've got you've got toy chica one of the cutest ones and then you've got nightmare chica and you're like you're really just one of the ugly sisters in a, in a in, in, in somewhat of a, a cute family but i i love the design i love the the cutesy artistic style i think it really works quite well with for an rpg for an rpg element for this game i mean you've got the whole background it's nice and starry and bright the colors in the the, the top of the region then you've got the nice grass down below so it's going to be interesting to see how scott designs a storyline for this yeah the scariest one out of these guys i'm gonna say phantom puppet i actually like really like i think scott's done a great job to uh cutify if that's even a word the nightmare <laughs> animatronics yeah. and uh he said he said that he was difficult to do nightmare chica but i mm. think he's done a great job i mean he's done a great yeah. job to make her look a bit uh cute um, yeah, a bit. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any of them? Like you look at the foxies in the previous games. Yes, they've always got big right. teeth. That foxies yeah. never cute, apart from the plushie. But mm -hmm. they all look ridiculously cute now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. It's just really bright and colourful. It gives Scott mm. to, uh, you know, like all of the FNAF games really are quite like dark, coloured, and grim. And it's nice to see all the animatronics look bright and cool. You know. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, I was thinking about this yesterday, and the contrast between this image here and the one we had just a couple of weeks ago is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Like, you, you don't think about it now, because of, of course we've got all the same characters um, from the roster of Five Nights at Freddy's in FNAF World, so we still see it in a similar light, but realistically, it's a totally different thing, and yeah. I suppose when we first saw these new animatronics starting to appear, I think it was Balloon Boy that really started to raise alarms, because his yes. shading and lo it looks so much different from all the other ones, and it kind of stood out, and I think that's when people started to really think this probably wasn't going to be like a, another FNAF spin-off. I mm -hmm. suppose it is in yeah. some ways, but it's still a different game. But in terms of the character's whole design, I, I really enjoy it. And I like how, rather than these guys being all shiny, it's kind of like they've all got like a matte finish, mm -hmm. if you know what yeah. I mean. Apart from the, the kind of the toy animatronics, they still look a little bit shiny. But I think my favourite, actually, it's growing on me, Nightmare Freddy. I think that one looks really, really cool. It's got like this really yeah. smooth style. And the little Fredlets, they're, they're amazing. I, I really think it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going to be moving over to the enemies, because I think after this image popped up so quick, people are starting to think that maybe the same thing might happen for the enemies. Maybe it won't. We're not 100% sure, but we've got until 2016, seriously, yeah. to find out. But what do you guys actually think is going to happen with these teasers? Do you think they'll change to show the enemies, or mm -hmm. what, what do yeah, you guys think? I think that, I don't know actually, because if he's saying coming 2016 now, unless he leaves that bit at the bottom and the FNAF world, maybe if he was to go all dark with it, change slowly, gradually, yeah. like make the title go all dark and mm, like yeah re re either he will replace the cast with these enemies or he will just tease them completely separate 
mm. to these enemies. I'm not yeah. sure how we will do it, but it's, it's, it'd be interesting to know who the enemies will actually be in this mm -hmm, game. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of people want the puppet to be the enemy, but not the puppet, the uh, purple guy, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, obviously, you can have multiple purple guys, yeah, so you it's got to be something else. Yeah. Different, different shades of purple guy. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, knowing Scott and, and, and his trolley nature, he'll probably have the, the, the coming 2016 slowly fading out, or part of the six slowly fading out, so it turns into yeah. a five. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then just the seriously disappears and it says JK LOL there um, it, I, I, th I think because he's released so many he was doing them one at a time wasn't he yeah. who did it start off with was it, was it Chica uh, it was, the, it was no, Fred yeah. wasn't it First Ooh, God, Bear. Now we've already got to think back. Yeah, I think it was, it was either it was Fred, Fred Bear oh, than yeah, yeah. Fred, Fred Bear was added, wasn't he? Because it was the yes, animatronics yeah. first. Yeah, the, the, the animatronics first. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. The endoskeletons changed first, and then, yeah. of, then then Fred Bear popped in, and then Chica came on the Saturday, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. yeah. And um, they were just basically it was one at a time. It was it was daily, and then bam, one day he just <laughs> oh. he, re he released it was going to be called FNAF World, and he just started changing loads, <laughs> and. Yeah. Whether it's because he was he was excited because he'd finished modeling a lot of them, or if he does mm. have a lot of teasers, because as you said, if he's going to start replacing them with enemies, if 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 it just suddenly goes black one day, everybody will freak out, and then he just starts fading in separate mm -hmm. enemies would be quite cool, or 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 yeah. like dark versions of them. I don't know what story he has, but maybe you yeah. get like a dark Chica or a dark Foxy mm -hmm. or something appear. It might be quite interesting, but yeah. <laughs> just a big purple face appears on the, on the screen <laughs> instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, it will be. Interesting interesting to see what enemies i i don't i really don't know what they are mm -hmm. like pizzas just yeah pizzas <laughs> yeah <laughs> or party, hats, uh, uh, party hats and, and slicers <laughs> and I, I i don't know I, I really don't know he must have something in, in plan though yeah because in, in rpgs you, there's a ton you, you've got to have a ton of enemies haven't mm. you in an rpg you get the just yeah. the the main enemies and you get the boss fight so yeah. um yeah. But for the boss fights, like, with the enemies, I think Scott's going to be a bit more secretive with it, you know, because yeah. there could be a boss fight with someone like, like you said, Purple Man. I don't know whether he's going to reveal that because, you know, it's going to be a very hyped moment in the game yeah. where we just walk across the pizzeria and the boss fight's Purple Man. Um, yeah. So I don't know whether he'll be secretive to show the uh, the boss fights and uh, more revealing with the main enemies. But um, yeah. for, for enemies, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Maybe um, yeah. a, a, a fan <laughs> or something. Yeah. The key props, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I think, I think the enemies at the minute, it's, it's one of those speculative things because we're really not to know what they're going to be incorporating. Mm. But... Of course, we know Scott in the first message where he said about FNAF World and the game being really dear to his heart, and that's mm -hmm. why he kind of created this game. Mm -hmm. It would be a bit strange to not see maybe some of the characters we saw in these, like, 8-bit minigames, because there were some enemies throughout these. We had the purple guy. The purple badge guy might be the same person. Mm -hmm. Who knows at the minute? No, like Pink Man. Pink Man as well, so there might be up to three people. We've got these news articles. Yeah. It's whether or not he's going to really be introducing some of the Five Nights at Freddy's lore into this, but mm. I think either way, there's going to have to be some form of, like, horror. Maybe it might be very minor, but I think to have enemies contrasting these guys, it's going to have to be kind of uh, horror-filled. horror, horror -filled. And, you know, if it's going to be incorporating maybe the pizza ears into this uh, envi environment even, not mm -hmm. establishment, then it's going to be interesting. So I suppose this moves quite nicely onto the gameplay section. So, like, what do you guys actually want to see from this game and what do you really hope that as we're walking around we actually see well i i hope for a kind of like final fantasy feel to it yeah um where like you run around like kind of like five nights at f boys i guess mm. but we know scott in the past to usually focus on side scrollers but yeah. i don't think that that would work in this kind of game because you've got such a roster of characters to pick from that i think only a top down kind of yeah. game yeah. would work because yeah. obviously you'd be in a party of people following you around yeah and, absolutely you know, getting into battles i don't know if even if that's going to be the game or not but mm -hmm. i don't know it'll be interesting to see like definitely mm -hmm. like a final fantasy kind of style yeah mm -hmm. yeah like if you have a look at the what ones did it was it was it final fantasy 3 2 and 1 they recently remade for the the iPhones and stuff like that. So they, they oh, really? remade it. I think they came out for the the, the DS first. So they okay. remade them. So they weren't as eight bitty. They were like modeled, and they, and the models look very similar, like styling as as they do here. I'm sure they do. And it's a very cartoony feel that they've got about them. So I think he might be able to do that. I mean, PCs can handle okay. it. I don't know Scott's modeling skill in that style. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yeah. But if I mean, if he's modelled these, and depending on the, the, the type of engine he's using and that, because he's not really revealed too much details yep. on those things yet, he could quite possibly make it like that. And yep. what I want to see is, I want to get out of the pizzeria. I don't, I don't want to be there the yeah. whole time because yeah. it's too small. If if he's taking his time and making this these these epic characters, I mean, I've not even counted how many there are here, but there's a butt ton of them. Um, I want a I want a world to play in. I yeah. want I want to go out. I want to go to a forest and have fight plans. So yeah. when I go to a desert and fight scorpions, I, just things yeah. they don't even have to be connected to the Five Nights at Freddy's world. I don't want to just be yeah. you know, constantly fighting fans. I want to mm. fight. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got the perfect opportunity here to use these incredible characters in a completely new setting, a fantasy yeah, setting. Yeah. And I think that's what he might be trying to hint by saying it's not the same storyline. Because mm-hmm. now we're playing Actually, as Chica. Yeah. We're not playing. It sounds like we're going to be playing as Chica, not a kid that's been stuffed inside a Chica, if you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Yes. Hence, Springtrap yep. not having Purple Man inside it. Mm-hmm. It's yep. a separate world. It's, it's Springtrap the character. So yep. we can go to underwater locations and fight fish or sharks or something. It's a yeah. whole world he can use here, and I hope he's not going to restrict himself to fighting the pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, looking at the teaser, we're not in a pizzeria. Yeah, if yeah, you, yeah. If, remember back in most of his Five Nights at Freddy's teasers, they always seem to be set in a spotlight, a, a spotlight of, yeah. pizzeria mm. place, and he's completely changed that. I mean, we're on, we're in the middle of a field with a bunch of sky and stars everywhere, and yeah. you know, FNAF World seems to me that he's going to make brand new locations, brand yep. new places to explore. Um, you know, I don't know what where it's going to be set. Is it going to be set on planet Earth or uh, just a FNAF world where it's just for yeah. FNAF? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. if he does yep. that, uh, it doesn't have to be connected with any of the lore and he can do what he wants. Yeah, I think I have to admit as well, like he's really got his work cut out for him this time because yeah. you've got to think he has to rig and animate each and every one yeah. of those characters yeah. as well. And he has to design the background, the enemies rigging. He's, yeah. I, I seriously believe that it will come yeah, out in 2016 due to this as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because you've got to think at the same time, like, you know, he's got all these characters here and they're all posed, so they're most likely rigged already, which is mm. crazy to well, think about. he definitely moves them because it was, um, yes. I'm sure it was Freddy. Yeah, it was not an original adventure Freddy. His arm moves. He's, like, repositioned yeah. it, so yeah. it's not just yeah. a static image at them. They, they are already rendered, and that's why he's been able yeah. to move them about quite easily on the, the teaser images. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it seems like as well. I just want to get my input on the gameplay. Like just the title alone, you have to you have to comprehend it. It's, it's kind of like a, a reminder almost of like Five Nights at Freddy's world. It's like think about the the fact that in all of these FNAF games we theorize so much, and all we have is win like pizzerias. It's such a small mm-hmm. area, yeah. and now to have a massive open world, it's kind of crazy. If he incorporates the establishments, maybe we might get some like backstory on like. Just at the environment outside of the establishments yes. each time. Like, even if the establishments are like Easter eggs or something, like we just mm, yeah. encounter them somewhere random. I think that would be cool. I think that would be an, like an amazing touch. And then inside of these, we can find like weird relics, things like that. Just little secrets. And I don't know. I think the gameplay is going to be good. I kind of yeah. like the idea of just having this whole world where you know all the characters might be fighting fantasy characters mm-hmm. that don't have to really resemble anything. Um, I think it's a good idea, and uh, I- I'm looking forward to the gameplay. I-, I think it's going to definitely be something new, and something we're all going to really enjoy for the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. So there we have it, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this discussion on Theory Thursday. Hopefully you did enjoy, and be sure to comment down below any of your thoughts in relation to the topics discussed within this video. And if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below? And if you're new to any of our channels, why not subscribe for more interesting videos like this and also some gameplays? So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. We do hope you did enjoy, and we will, of course, see you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody. On all of our channels. channels. (laughs) Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?